Hi boys and girls, today I'm going to share a story with you called The Little Red Hen. And this story um, is kind of like a folk tale. It is um, this book you might find being retold different ways, um, or the characters might look different, but the storyline is pretty much the same, right? And with a folk tale, we always have those animals that are talking, right? And sometimes there's a lesson to be learned by the time we reach the end of the story. So I want you to pay close attention, okay, to what the characters are doing and what lesson the author might want to teach us in this story. The Little Red Hen Once upon a time... Oh, wait a second. Stop and think. Where did we hear that? Where did we hear Once Upon a Time? Yeah, in our last book we read about the three little pigs, right? Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who was a very hard worker. She lived in a little red barn with a noisy black dog, a lazy orange cat, and a rude pink pig. One day, the little red hen found some wheat seeds. She knew she could plant the seeds and tall wheat stalks would grow. Then she could cut the wheat and bake bread, but it would be a lot of work. Who will help me plant these seeds? she asked. Not I, barked the noisy black dog. Not I, meowed the casey orange cat. Not I, oinked the rude pink pig. Then I will plant them, said the little red hen, and so she did. Weeks passed. The little red hen watched the wheat. First little green sprouts began to grow. The sprouts grew taller and taller. They grew into tall wheat stalks. Finally, the wheat stalks were ready to be cut. The little red hen was excited. Who will help me cut the wheat? she asked. Not I, grumbled the noisy black dog. Not I, purred the lazy orange cat. Not I, grunted the rude pink pig. Then I will cut it, said the little red hen. And so she did. Now the little red hen had wheat, but she needed flour to bake the bread. So she ta she could take the wheat to the miller who would grind the wheat into flour. But the miller was a walk of many long miles away. Who will help me take the wheat to the miller? she asked. Not I, growled the black dog. Not I, yawned the lazy orange cat. Not I, mumbled the rude pink pig. Then I will take it, said the little red hen, and so she did. I want you to step and think for a second. With all of her friends not helping, how do you think the little red hen is feeling? Yeah, maybe sad or frustrated that she's not having any help doing all this work. The miller ground the wheat into flour when the little red hen at last arrived home, she was ready to start making bread. First, she had to make bread dough. Who will help me make the dough? she asked. Not I, whined the dog. Not I, hissed the kiss, hissed the cat. Not I, sighed the pig. Then I will make it, said the little red hen. And so she did. The little red hen mixed the flour with water, yeast, and salt. She kneaded the dough and watched it rise. Finally, it was ready to bake. Who will help me bake the dough, she asked. Not I, muttered the dog. Not I, sniffed the cat. Not I, snorted the pig. Then I will bake it, said the little red hen. And so she did. The smell of baking bread spread all through the house. Finally, the bread was ready. The little red hen took it out of the oven and sliced it into pieces. Who will help me eat the bread? she asked. I will, yelped the dog. I will, smiled the cat. I will, squealed the pig. Not so fast, clucked the little red hen. I planted the seeds, I cut the wheat, I took the wheat to the miller, I made the dough, and I baked the bread all by myself. And now I will eat it all by myself. And so she did.
Mm. Now, as we're thinking about the story and the characters, I want you to think about what do you think... I'm sorry, do you think that the little red hen made a good choice? Do you think that she should keep it to herself because she made it all? Or do you think that she should share it with the other animals? That's a tough question to answer, but you're going to do it on Seesaw along with another activity. So hop on there to complete this assignment. I hope you enjoyed this book.